here a selection of uh, streamers here we're using today for uh, these big trophy wobbum and pike and pike in general. A lot of saltwater patterns that are very adaptable to the pike world. Here we've got a, a combination of a lefties deceiver and a clouser minnow called a half and half, kind of tied in a perch uh, color scheme with the olive saddle. Traditional chartreuse and white clouser works very well. Dumbbell eyes really jig the fly up and down. This is a variation of a pattern of mine called the popsicle leech tied in an all white motif, if you will. Very effective bait fish pattern. This is a steelhead pattern called a mole, mother of all leech. It's got a supple braided Dacron core, small stinger hook at the back end. And uh, when you're fishing a big fly and you don't want to have the problem of a large shank levering against you in the fight, that small hook really holds well. Very hard for the pike to throw this fly once it's taken. Traditional lefties deceiver, greenbacks, chartreuse backs, blue, gray, predominant feed in here is perch and whitefish. And then a big attractor fly. This is a Highlander series designed by Stu Thompson. And this is a nice almost fire tiger color with the yellow, orange, and red very good attractor fly. When they're really aggressive, they really hit these hard. So there's a good selection of pike flies you want to consider when you're coming out pike fishing. up flies here. Oh, I don't know if I can stay with them. <laughs> He's running at me. Well, what we did here is we just changed up. I put a uh, half and half, which is a blend of uh, uh, Lefty's Deceiver and a Clouser Minnow. And uh, now we're clearing the deck. So we're not sure how big this thing is, but he slammed this pretty good. And this is a perch color, which is uh, olive, uh, some chartreuse, some white which is the predominant feed in here along with uh, white fish. So again, match the hatch. Give them what they want. Give them what they're feeding on. Like a couple of runs out of them, but each runs sometimes into your backing. And two of them is enough. I'm done. <laughs> I'm tired. Once alerted to potential prey, the pike positions itself for ambush. When the unsuspecting victim enters its field of attack, the pike lunges forward. Relying on sight and lightning propulsion, pike rarely miss a target. However, if the attack fails, the pike will not pursue its prey. It simply returns to its ambush post to wait for a new opportunity. Now he's, he came at it. And so we'll get him in here nonetheless and send him on his way. Oh, he's taken off. Oh, maybe I can, he just pulled out there. But that's a, that's a nice pike. That's all right. We're going to let him go anyway. But.